I'm just singing cause it's over yeah. uh. What's up guys, Kai And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to use the stop trigger in Geometry Dash 2.1 editor and before I start the video let me just discuss this with you guys not discuss but tell you a lot of people ask me how do you get into the editor how to get into the 2.1 editor well I have a few steps it's uh, I'm not really sure if it's easy or not it's, I think it is easy but, but you need a lot of potato okay a lot of potential so the first step Pause the video. Dude, I told you to pause the video. You are obviously still watching, right? You're still watching the video, right? I tell you to pause the video. Can you hear me? You are still here. Great. Great. I can't help you now. You are you, you guys have no hope. Okay, no just you guys are hopeless. Okay, <laughs> let me just um be serious this time. So Step 1, just go to the description and step 2, click that link in the description. Step 3, watch the video. Step 4, just follow what the video does. That video is Rustom's video. I follow his instruction and it actually works, man. To my surprise, it actually works. I'm really surprised. So, right now, just follow Rustom's instruction. It actually works, I'm glad, so I can do this tutorial for you guys. So, without further um, talking, I guess, let's get right into the tutorial, man. So, the first step, I'm sure after I'm done with this tutorial, I'm sure you guys will be like, the stop trigger sucks, man. The stop trigger doesn't do any shit, it, it sucks. But it, it actually is useful. Okay, it actually is useful. For example, you want to move this block, okay? You put it into a group and then you put the move trigger to 1 and then to move 10, 10 and then lock player X so it moves with it, okay? Sorry for the lag, my blue stack just sucks so much and then it can move, right? Yep, the stop trigger will stop this from moving. You put it here. I make it a group ID 2. I can't make it 1 anymore. And then make it 2. You set this to 2. So once the player passes this line, the block will stop move. It will stop moving. Just like that. Yeah, it's useless. Yeah. Yeah, it's useless, right? I'm not even kidding. It's damn useless. Just look at it. Just stop like that. But to be honest, it is not useless it is damn useful i'm not even kidding guys for example you want a cool effect like this block okay let me just do this you want this block to reach this block exactly you can't really do that right you just pass it through there are two options number one the harder way you go to any object and you set the time to exactly the same like three seconds no Two seconds just too long, right? One second. Now look at this. Just look at this. Do you see that? It doesn't really fit perfectly, right? That is when the stop trigger shines. You put the stop trigger here. Put it to somewhere here. Wait, let me see. Two blocks. Okay. And then when it stops. Wait. You do this when it stops it hits exactly this line can you guys see exactly the same so for example you want to do some cool effects you can do this or for example I'll be right back guys I'm gonna do something so guys like for this this for example you want this block you want this block to move and then you want it to stop here okay you want it to stop here the end here, stop here. You want it to exactly reach that place. The easiest way, use the stop trigger, right? Set this 
to a step the set the move trigger to a group and then make this to that group which is two I don't even know how to explain and boom let me readjust it just adjust it and then boom it looks it just fits exactly here you hear you see this it fits exactly here so that's one use of one use of the stop trigger I'm not sure for the other ones that's what I know of course you can do this on rotate as well like it rotates and then you put a stop trigger it stop rotating there are a lot of uses for stop I'm sure of it at first when I know how to use it I was like you know what stop sucks why did Rob Rob even create this trigger this trigger sucks until a while, after a while of messing up messing like playing with the editor I found this way on how I found this way to use a good way to use this stop trigger and it's pretty cool so this is all this is all I could say so guys thanks for watching always remember to like subscribe and as always see ya in the next video